Preface of Cookie and Cracker Cookin'. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Cookie and Cracker Cookin' by Jeanette Hindman Elliott and Alfred Feston. Preface Cookie and Cracker Cookin' contains recipes that will make you the talked-about hostess. Not because the recipes are difficult or expensive to prepare, they are gourmet masterpieces, but because they are made of just the right ingredients in exactly the proper amounts for both eye and appetite appeal. The skillful addition of a dash of spice, pinch of herbs, artistic garnish, reveals the touch of genius. Be talked about. Use cookie and cracker cooking. You don't have to be an expert. Just follow each recipe carefully. The Bowman Biscuit Company, Division of United Biscuit Company of America, under the brand name of Supreme Bakers, has served generations of Westerners. Starting in 1906 with five types of cookies and crackers, the firm has grown to a huge industry with well over 1,000 persons on its current payroll. This fact is certain proof of Supreme Bakers' ability to please Western tastes, and your assurance of top quality and flavor in the cookies and crackers bearing the famous four-leaf clover label. Enjoy supreme cookies and crackers as they come from the box and use them as ingredients in many recipes for good eating every day. Variety is the spice of life. That's why supreme bakers produce such a wide assortment of products. That's why they offer such a variety of recipes in this booklet. And everyone, you, your family, and your friends will enjoy them. End of Preface Section 1 of Cookie and Cracker Cooking. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Cookie and Cracker Cooking by Jeanette Hinman Elliott and Alfred Feston. Section 1 Tempting Appetizers. Long Island Clam Spread Yield 12 party servings Half cup canned clams, minced One fourth cup clam juice Two three ounce packages cream cheese One tablespoon lemon juice One teaspoon Worcestershire sauce One eighth teaspoon Tabasco sauce One teaspoon grated onion One teaspoon paprika two tablespoons minced parsley. Beat together cream cheese and clam juice until smooth. Add all other ingredients and blend well. Chill and serve in a dip bowl placed on a snack tray. Arrange townhouse crackers around the bowl. It's a pleasing surprise to find the crackers served hot. Butter, place on cookie sheet and bake for seven minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Guacamole junk. Yield 12 party servings. 1 ripe avocado. Half cup chopped cucumber. 1 fourth cup chopped onion. 1 3 ounce package cream cheese. 2 tablespoons lemon juice. Half teaspoon salt. Dash of Tabasco sauce. 1 teaspoon paprika. Mash avocado meat and blend in finely chopped cucumber and onion. Add cheese and seasoning. Beat until smooth and fluffy. This can be piled into cucumber boats for attractive serving. Bake boats with saltine crackers, townhouse crackers, and club crackers. To make cucumber boats, cut in half lengthwise, scoop out meat, chop, and use in this recipe. Shrimp canapes yield 12 party servings. 1 pound cooked shrimp. 1 fourth cup minced scallions or onions. 4 tablespoons mayonnaise. 2 hard cooked eggs chopped. 1 fourth teaspoon salt. 1 fourth teaspoon freshly ground black pepper. Half teaspoon paprika. Half cup parmesan cheese. 
chop or grind shrimp and blend in scallions, mayonnaise, eggs, and seasoning. Heap on townhouse crackers and sprinkle with cheese. Broil five minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or until delicately browned. Cheese and anchovy rarebit. Yield 18 party servings. 3 cups grated sharp cheddar or Swiss cheese. 2 tablespoons melted butter. 2 teaspoons salt. 2 teaspoons dry mustard. 1 teaspoon paprika. 2 cups medium white sauce or 1 cup dry white wine or 1 cup beer. Half cup chopped anchovy fillets. Put cheese and seasoning in top of double boiler or chafing dish. Add butter. Stir constantly until melted, then blend in slowly one of the three liquids suggested. When mixture is smooth, about ten minutes, fold in anchovy fillets. Sprinkle top with chopped chives. Keep hot during serving in chafing fish or over candle warmer. Have plenty of saltine crackers, townhouse crackers, and club crackers nearby for dunking in this tasty rarebit. Serving appetite teasers in the living room before dinner is becoming increasingly popular. Variety in crackers and their crispness and freshness add so much to the tastiness of spreads. Today, delicious prepared spreads are available at food stores. Wise homemakers keep an assortment on the pantry shelf. Mystery cheese ball. Yield 50 party servings. 5 5 5-ounce jars blue cheese. 1 5-ounce jar sharp cheddar cheese. 1 tablespoon grated onion. 2 teaspoons Worcestershire sauce. 1 cup finely chopped nuts. For easier blending, allow cheeses to stand at room temperature at least two hours. Put all ingredients, except nuts, into a bowl and mix until smooth and velvety. Electric mixer will make it easier but can be done by hand. Refrigerate in well-greased small bowl until firm. Remove from bowl, shape into ball, roll in nuts. Place on chop plate, bank club crackers and townhouse crackers all around. Tips on teasers will make you a talked-about hostess. Tasty hors d'oeuvres include townhouse crackers, club crackers, and saltine crackers spread with ham, chicken, tuna, or egg salad. Crackers topped with cheese and anchovies, miniature hamburgers, franks, or sausages can be served hot from the broiler. A tray of radishes, pickles, olives, celery hearts, and carrot sticks an arrangement of apple and pear wedges, glazed grapes and banana chunks dipped in sour cream and rolled in colored coconut will enhance the beauty of the buffet table. A crystal bowl of punch could be placed at one end of the table and its silver tea service for those who want coffee at the other. Prepare ahead. Add finishing touches just before guests arrive. Then you'll have fun at your own party. End of section one. Section 2 of Cookie and Cracker Cookin'. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Cookie and Cracker Cookin' by Jeanette Heinemann Elliott and Alfred Feston. Savory Soups. Creole Bean Chowder. Yield 8 servings. 1 pound dry red beans. 8 cups water, 1 cup grated carrots, 1 cup finely chopped onion, 1 number 2 can tomato puree, 2 teaspoons sugar, 4 whole cloves, 1 half teaspoon pepper, 3 cups water, 1 number 2 can okra, 1 cup finely chopped celery, 1 tablespoon salt, 4 tablespoons vinegar, 1 half teaspoon Tabasco sauce, 1 half cup margarine, 1 half teaspoon chili powder. Wash beans well. Place in large utensil with lid. Cover with the eight cups water. Soak overnight. Cook covered until tender, about three hours. Drain and save liquid. Then run beans through ricer or Foley mill. Return to liquid and add all other ingredients.
cover and simmer for one hour if desired five minutes before serving add three francs sliced very thin and diagonally serve with parmesan wafers see recipe below menu suggestion to prepare parmesan wafers mix together one fourth cup parmesan cheese one half teaspoon garlic salt and just enough soft butter to spread cover townhouse crackers with a generous amount of this spread and place on a cookie sheet boil until bubbly and well browned about six minutes at 350 degrees fahrenheit serve piping hot creole bean chowder is so delicious and filling that it can be used for the main dish of the meal if complemented by a salad and dessert try serving it with creamy coleslaw and delicious pecan pie potato potage yield six servings two cups diced potato one teaspoon salt one and one half cups boiling water six strips bacon cut fine one half cup chopped onion one cup milk or cream one quarter teaspoon pepper one half teaspoon paprika cook potatoes in salted boiling water until tender fry bacon until crisp remove from fat then saute onion until yellow if possible use green onions including tops mashed potatoes reserving liquid combined potatoes liquid onion bacon cream and seasoning let simmer 10 minutes serve with salting crackers spread with onion butter sprinkled with paprika and broiled five minutes at 350 degrees fahrenheit a salad made of two parts shredded red cabbage and one part shredded carrot a bit of green pepper and mayonnaise is a perfect accompaniment for potato potage top it all off with ginger spice cake piled high with apple frosty and you'll have a delicious sunday night supper there's a difference in soups when they are made with loving care and caressed by the touch of genius really good soups demand time for preparation and skill in seasoning the writer thomas fuller once said love has its charms but only soup so well nourishes the young stokes the fires of manhood and comforts the old the recipes given in this chapter are guaranteed to please the entire family remember always serve hot soups very hot and cold soups chilled thoroughly soup and crackers go together like ham and eggs cream and sugar salt and pepper love and marriage you can't have one without the other crackers to complement rich flavorful soups must be very crisp we suggest tempting touches be added to crackers and that they be served crisp and crunchy straight from the oven fishy soies, cold and quick yield six servings three medium potatoes one half cup potato water one eight ounce carton sour cream three quarter cup half and half cream one third cup chopped chives or green onion one half teaspoon salt dash tabasco sauce one can beef consomme wash peel and dice potatoes cook until tender pour off liquid and measure reserve up to one half cup mashed potatoes combined with potato water sour cream and cream whip until smooth add chives seasoning and consomme blend well refrigerate at least four hours serve in soup bowls or cups sprinkle with paprika and chopped chives serve with townhouse crackers spread with anchovy paste and broiled five minutes at 350 degrees fahrenheit complement with a salad of sliced avocado and cucumber on endive and raspberry parfait pie peas porridge hot yield six servings five strips of bacon one half cup chopped onion two cans pea soup one can boiling water fry bacon until very crisp remove from fat and saute onion until clear blend fat and onion into soup pour in pan and add boiling water slowly stirring until smooth cook until it bubbles up two minutes add bacon crumbled into bits serve piping hot with townhouse crackers topped with blue cheese and broiled five minutes at 350 degrees fahrenheit soups a meal when served with a tasty salad and tempting dessert a toss green salad with tomato wedges will complement peas porridge hot for the ideal dessert try graham cracker cake with pine cut topping lobster bisque yield six servings two cups milk two cups light cream one half can tomato soup three tablespoons butter one cup chopped lobster meat four tablespoons flour one half teaspoon salt one half teaspoon onion salt one half teaspoon celery salt 
one half teaspoon red pepper. Combine and heat milk, cream, and soup. Saute shredded lobster meat in butter, add flour, cook until absorbed by lobster. Combine lobster with hot tomato and cream combination, add seasoning. Cook slowly, stirring constantly until thick. Serve with club crackers, generously buttered, sprinkled with paprika and toasted eight minutes in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven. Delicious with avocado slices and grapefruit sections with horseradish dressing. Serving tricks. The French excel not only in their cuisine, but in their art of serving. They believe every dish should be a masterpiece, rich in flavor, skillfully seasoned, served with ceremony. They never serve large portions. When you finish, you'll wish there was a bit more. That is the state of perfection. Never detract from the appeal of food by serving too much. Savory soups given here are culinary masterpieces, so flavorful, so skillfully seasoned, the most discriminating French chef would say, we, oui, we. Oui. We suggest they be used as the main dish around which to build a meal, but in small portions are delicious at a dinner. Each of our savory soups is so delicious, you'll find yourself serving them often once you have been tempted with a taste. End of section two. Section 3 of Cookie and Cracker Cookin'. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Cookie and Cracker Cookin' by Jeanette Hinman Elliott and Alfred Fenston. Intriguing Entrees Lobster Thermidor. Yield six servings. Six frozen African lobster tails, two tablespoons margarine, two tablespoons flour, one egg, one and a half teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon pepper, quarter teaspoon red pepper, quarter teaspoon celery salt, one tablespoon chopped onion, half teaspoon prepared mustard, quarter cup cream, one cup vegetable stock, two tablespoons lemon juice, three tablespoons margarine, half cup Parmesan cheese, three quarter cup club cracker crumbs. Cook frozen lobster tails according to directions on package. Remove meat, save shells to use as garnish, melt margarine, stir in flour, egg, seasoning, and cream. Then add all of the vegetable stock slowly, blending and stirring carefully to prevent lumping. Vegetable stock is liquid saved from canned vegetables or from cooking fresh vegetables. Store in jars in refrigerator. Cook sauce in double boiler until smooth and thick, stirring constantly. Shred lobster meat and sprinkle with lemon juice. Combine meat and sauce mixing well together and heating until mixture bubbles up for three minutes. Arrange lobster shells pulling open around inside of greased one and a half quart glass baking dish. Pour in lobster mixture, letting the pink shells extend over like a rim around the edge. Saute Parmesan cheese and fine club cracker crumbs in margarine and spread over top of lobster. Place under broiler for about 15 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit or until top is a golden brown, crisp and crusty. Garnish with lemon wedges and sprigs of parsley. Crab meat casserole. Yield six servings. Six ounces elbow macaroni, six tablespoons vegetable oil, quarter cup chopped onion, half cup green pepper strips, two cups thick white sauce, three tablespoons lemon juice, one teaspoon Worcester sauce, three dashes Tabasco sauce, three quarter cup grated cheddar cheese, one seven ounce can crab meat flaked, one cup cooked peas, half cup pimento strips, two third cup saltine cracker crumbs, three tablespoons butter. Cook macaroni in salted water. Do not overcook. Drain and set aside. Saute onion and green pepper in vegetable oil until clear. 
lift out and add to macaroni. Using remaining oil, make white sauce. Add lemon juice, seasoning, and cheese. Stir until cheese melts. Combine sauce, crab meat, vegetables, and macaroni. Pour into greased two-quart glass baking dish. Saute saltine cracker crumbs in butter and spread over mixture. Bake 24 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Broiled lamb roll. Yield six servings. One and a half pounds ground lamb shoulder. One teaspoon salt. Eighth of a teaspoon pepper. Quarter teaspoon marjoram. One tablespoon Worcester sauce. Three quarter cup club cracker crumbs. Three tablespoons water. Half pound sliced bacon. Mix together lamb, seasoning, club cracker crumbs and water. Arrange strips of bacon lengthwise, side by side, slightly overlapping, on a sheet of wax paper. Spread lamb mixture evenly all over bacon. Roll as a jelly roll. Wrap in the wax paper. Refrigerate until firm enough to slice. Place toothpicks along roll one inch apart and cut in six equal slices. Broil 12 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit on one side. Turn and broil seven to 10 minutes. Steaks Continental yield six servings. Two cups club crackers crumbled, two third cup milk, three pounds ground chuck, half cup finely chopped suet, one cup chopped green pepper, one cup chopped onion, half cup chopped mushrooms, three tablespoons tomato paste, three tablespoons creamed corn, one and a half teaspoons pepper, one tablespoon salt, two cloves garlic minced, one egg beaten. If using fresh mushrooms, wash, slice, and cook in salted water until tender. Place crumbled club crackers in bowl and pour milk over them. Let stand. Blend together meat, suet, green pepper, onion, mushrooms, tomato paste, corn, and seasoning. Add egg to moistened club crackers. Combine cracker and meat mixtures, mixing well. Divide into six, one and a half thick patties, shaping into the form of a steak. Broil 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit on one side, keeping far enough away from heat to cook through without burning. Turn and broil on other side until done. To prepare well-done steaks, broil farther from the heat and for a longer time on each side. Sausage pouches yield six servings. One pound ground sausage meat, one cup club crackers crushed slightly, six tablespoons canned milk, three slices pineapple cut in half. Blend together sausage meat, club crackers, and milk. Divide into six equal parts. Roll oval-shaped pouches. With side of hand, press into top of each oval a slight indentation to form the pouch. Place half slice of pineapple, rounded side up, lengthwise into indentation and secure with toothpicks. Place pouches in shallow baking pan. Bake 35 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Louisiana pork chops yield six servings. Six double pork chops, two and a half cups chopped apple, three quarter cup chopped pecans, half cup graham cracker crumbs, half teaspoon salt, eighth teaspoon allspice, half teaspoon ginger, four tablespoons New Orleans molasses, three quarter cup flour, one cup milk, one cup saltine cracker crumbs, one cup boiling water. Combine apples, pecans, graham cracker crumbs, seasoning, and molasses. Spoon into pouch in each chop. Dip stuffed chops in milk, then in saltine cracker crumbs. Brown chops on both sides in just enough grease to prevent burning. Place in covered roaster. Add boiling water. Bake one hour at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Ask your butcher to slit chops along the bone. 
not on the fat side. Cut like this, the slit is supported by the bone and will close tightly after filled with stuffing. Oven fried chicken. Yield six servings. One frying chicken, disjointed. One and a half teaspoon salt, half teaspoon pepper, one cup flour, one and a half cups milk, one and a half cups townhouse cracker crumbs. Wash chicken, being sure all pin feathers are removed. Place flour, salt, and pepper in heavy sack. Add three or four pieces of chicken at a time and shake. When all are well floured, empty remaining flour and put finely crumbled, not ground, townhouse cracker crumbs in sack. Dip pieces of floured chicken in milk, then shake in townhouse cracker crumbs, a few pieces at a time until well coated. Place chicken meaty side up in a greased shallow baking dish, no fat, and bake 40 minutes in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven. Turn pieces and bake another 20 minutes or until second side is browned. Party patty shells yield six shells. One teaspoon oregano, one teaspoon poppy seeds, half cup butter, one stick, two eggs, well beaten, two and a half cups saltine cracker crumbs. Add oregano, rubbed fine, and poppy seeds to saltine cracker crumbs mixing thoroughly. Cut in butter as for a pie crust. Two knives or pastry blender may be used. Add eggs and continue to blend until well mixed. Press tightly against bottom and sides of standard glass custard cups or five inch foil pie pans. Bake 20 minutes in a 375 degrees Fahrenheit preheated oven. Fill with creamed meats and or vegetables, chicken a la king, creamed lobster, or crab meat. Swiss souffle pie, yield six servings. One recipe, party patty shells, half cup minced onion, two tablespoons butter, six eggs, separated, one teaspoon Worcester sauce, quarter teaspoon pepper, quarter teaspoon dry mustard, half teaspoon caraway seeds, one and a half teaspoon salt, two and a half cups milk, one eight ounce package Swiss cheese. Make one recipe party patty shells, page 13. Press mixture on sides and bottom of eight inch cake pan. Bake this saltine cracker crust 10 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Saute onion and butter. Beat six egg yolks and three egg whites. Add seasoning, milk, and sauteed onion. Fold in three stiffly beaten egg whites. Cut cheese very fine. Line saltine cracker crust with cheese. Add egg and milk mixture. Bake 30 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Insert knife to test custard's doneness. Ham loaf flambeau. Yield six servings. Three quarter cup brown sugar, one teaspoon prepared mustard, quarter cup vinegar, five peach halves, drained, five maraschino cherries, two cups ground ham, one and a half pounds ground fresh pork, two eggs, one cup milk, one cup saltine cracker crumbs, half teaspoon salt, half teaspoon pepper. Mix sugar, mustard, and vinegar in bottom of greased two-quart loaf pan. Arrange peach halves rounded side up over this. Put cherry in center of each. Mix together remaining ingredients, blending well. Press in baking dish over peach halves. Bake two hours at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Turn out so decorations are on top. To set a blaze, soak cubes of sugar in rum, lemon, or brandy extract. Drain peach halves and wipe with paper towel. Arrange rounded side down on lettuce leaves around the ham loaf. Place a soaked sugar cube in center of each peach. Light cubes at table for dramatic effect. 
End of section three. Read by Tanya Bessler, Stuttgart, Germany, May 16th, 2021. Section four of Cookie and Cracker Cookin'. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Daria A. M. Cookie and Cracker Cookin' by Jeanette Hindman Elliot and Alfred Festin. Vegetables Tricks. Spinach Ring. Yield six servings. Three cups cooked spinach. Three eggs separated. One tablespoon minced onion. One cup half and half cream. One teaspoon salt. Half teaspoon nutmeg. Half cup saltine cracker crumbs. Drain spinach and chop very fine. Add beaten egg yolks, onion, saltine cracker crumbs, cream and seasoning. Blend well and fold in stiffly beaten egg whites. Pour into greased ring mold. Place in shallow pan of hot water. Bake 45 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or until mold is firm. Unmold on platter. Fill center with tuna a la king, creamed salmon, or hard-cooked eggs and curry sauce. Parsnips Creole. Yield 6 servings. 9 small fresh parsnips, 4 tablespoons butter, quarter cup chopped onion, half cup chopped green pepper, 4 tablespoons flour, 1 cup tomato puree, 1 cup water, 1 teaspoon salt, 1 and a half teaspoons sugar, half teaspoons red pepper, half teaspoon chili pepper, quarter teaspoon allspice, 3 fourth cup saltine cracker crumbs, 4 tablespoons butter. Peel parsnips, split in quarters lengthwise, remove center core, cook in salted water, do not overcook. Saute onion and green pepper in butter until clear. Add flour, puree, water and seasoning. Cook until smooth and slightly thick. Put parsnips in greased two-quart glass baking dish and pour creole sauce over them. Saute saltine cracker crumbs in butter and sprinkle over top. Bake 25 minutes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Green bean extraordinaire. Yield six servings. Two and a half cups cooked green beans. Twelve tiny white onions cooked. Half cup almonds split. Two cups medium white sauce. Half teaspoon salt. One teaspoon mace. Three tablespoons butter. Two third cup townhouse cracker crumbs. Drain beans. Combine beans, onions, almonds, salt, and mace with white sauce. Pour into a two-quart glass baking dish. Saute townhouse cracker crumbs in butter. Arrange over vegetables. Bake 25 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Peas and mushroom supreme. Yield six servings. Three slices bacon, two and a half cups cooked peas, three fourth cup cooked mushrooms, one fourth cup pimento strips, one eighth teaspoon pepper, one teaspoon salt, one cup half and half cream, half cup saltine cracker crumbs. Cut bacon in pieces and fry crisp. Lift out of fat. Combine with peas, mushrooms, pimentos, seasoning, and cream. Place and one and a half quart glass baking dish. Saute saltine cracker crumbs in fat. Spread over peas. Bake 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Ginger glazed carrots. Yield 6 servings. 12 medium carrots. Half teaspoon salt. Half cup strained honey. 4 tablespoons butter. Half cup graham cracker crumbs. 3 tablespoons butter. Half teaspoon ginger. 1 fourth cup chopped pecans. Scrape and cook carrots in salted water until tender. Do not overcook. Drain, reserving two tablespoons liquid and combine it with honey and butter. Pour over carrots and cook at low temperature until syrup cooks down and carrots are well glazed. Turn several times during glazing to coat evenly and also avoid burning. Saute graham cracker crumbs, to which ginger and nuts are added in the three tablespoons of butter. Place carrots in wormed vegetable dish and sprinkle with hot ginger-flavored crumbs. Serve immediately. Eggplant Italiano. Yield six servings. One eggplant. Six tablespoons olive oil. Half cup chopped onion. Half cup chopped green pepper. 
one pound ground beef, one teaspoon salt, one fourth teaspoon red pepper, half teaspoon oregano, three tomatoes diced, half clove garlic minced, one cup saltine cracker crumbs, one cup mozzarella cheese diced, Cut eggplant in half lengthwise. Cook in boiling salted water until tender. Scoop meat from inside of eggplant, leaving only a thin shell. Chop and set aside. Saute green pepper and onion in oil. When clear, add meat, salt, pepper, and oregano. Cook slowly until meat browns. Add diced tomatoes and chopped eggplant meat. Cook until hot through. Pack tightly in the eggplant shells. Toss diced cheese and saltine cracker crumbs together. Pile on top of eggplant boats. Bake 20 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. For a change, omit the meat in eggplant italiano. Mix crumbs and cheese with other ingredients given for stuffing. Fill eggplant shells and bake as directed. Potato puffs. Yield six servings. Two and a half cups mashed potatoes. One egg beaten fluffy. Four tablespoons flour. Quarter cup finely chopped onion. Half teaspoon salt. Half teaspoon pepper. Small amount of milk. One cup townhouse cracker crumbs. If potatoes are left over, worm slightly to assure easier and more thorough mixing. Add egg, flour, onion, and seasoning. Beat well. Add just enough milk to blend but do not allow too much moisture as mixture must be rolled in palm of hands to make 18 tiny balls. When formed, roll in townhouse cracker crumbs, being sure they are well covered. Fry in deep fat until golden brown. Serve immediately as they are not at their best unless hot. New Orleans Sweets Yield 6 servings 3 large size sweet potatoes, 4 tablespoons butter, 3 fourth cup graham cracker crumbs, half cup chopped pecans, half teaspoon ginger, 4 tablespoons butter, 6 tablespoons New Orleans molasses, half teaspoon ginger, quarter teaspoon nutmeg, quarter teaspoon cinnamon, 6 maraschino cherries, 4 tablespoons New Orleans molasses. Boil sweet potatoes in jackets until very tender. While they are cooking, melt 4 tablespoons butter in skillet. Add graham cracker crumbs, nuts and ginger, turning constantly. When potatoes are done, peel and mash. Add remaining butter, the 6 tablespoons of molasses, and the remaining spices. Whip until fluffy. Pile potatoes in a greased 2-quart glass casserole and top with sautéed graham cracker crumbs. Spread remaining 4 tablespoons of New Orleans molasses over all and garnish with 6 maraschino cherries. Bake 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. End of section 4. Section 5 of Cookie and Cracker Cookin'. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Cookie and Cracker Cookin' by Jeanette Hindman Elliott and Alfred Feston. Salads and Dressings Shrimp in Avocado Boats. Yield six servings. Three avocados, one cup French dressing, three tablespoons lemon juice, one pound cooked shrimp, five hard cooked eggs, one quarter cup pimento, one half cup chopped celery, one half cup chopped green pepper, one quarter cup chopped onion, one half cup chopped almonds, one half cup thin mayonnaise, three tomatoes quartered, six ripe olives, 12 carrot sticks, shredded bib lettuce. Cut avocados in half, seed and peel. Marinate in French dressing and lemon juice. Shred shrimp, add two hard cooked eggs, chopped pimento, celery, green pepper, onion, almonds and mayonnaise. Mix well and chill. To serve, drain avocado halves, place on lettuce, fill with shrimp salad. Top with remaining French dressing, garnish with olives, carrot sticks, tomato and egg wedges. Serve with townhouse crackers, spread with anchovy paste and broiled five minutes at 350 degrees. Slim Jim dressing, yield one cup, six tablespoons vinegar, one half cup vegetable oil, one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, one half teaspoon minced onion, one teaspoon prepared mustard, one half teaspoon paprika, one half cup tomato soup, one tablespoon sugar, one half teaspoon salt, 
one quarter teaspoon crushed red pepper combine all ingredients and blend well to further reduce calories try mineral oil instead of vegetable oil unless doctor has advised against its use caruso salad yield six servings two cups broken iceberg lettuce one half cup broken bib lettuce one half cup shredded red cabbage one half green pepper slivered one avocado sliced one half cup diced celery one half cup carrot curls one half cucumber unpeeled sliced italian or garlic dressing four tomatoes quartered twelve ripe olives seven tiny italian peppers place iceberg and bib lettuce red cabbage green pepper avocado celery carrot and cucumber in salad bowl add dressing and toss pile into six individual salad bowls and garnish each with eight tomato wedges two olives two peppers for a lunch main dish add strips of mozzarella cheese julienne ham chicken and hard cooked egg serve with club crackers spread with garlic butter and toasted seven minutes at three hundred fifty degrees cucumber avocado mold yield twelve servings one package lime gelatin one and three quarter cups water four tablespoons lemon juice one and one half teaspoons salt one cucumber two avocados one can red salmon six lemon slices six radish rosebuds parsley one and one half cups russian dressing boil water add gelatin stir until dissolved add lemon juice and salt chill until syrupy slice cucumber and avocado remove bones and skin from salmon and break into chunks arrange cucumber slices overlapping around bottom of greased one and one half quart ring mold place chunks of salmon over cucumber arrange avocado on top pour cool syrupy gelatin over all refrigerate until firm unmold on platter fill center with dressing arrange lemon slices radish rosebuds and parsley around mold serve with saltine crackers topped with cheese sprinkled with paprika and broiled five minutes at three hundred fifty degrees chicken salad in orange cups yield six servings three large oranges two cups shredded chicken one half cup chopped celery two tablespoons minced onion one quarter cup slivered ripe olives one half cup chopped pecans one large bunch watercress one third cup mayonnaise two teaspoons sugar one teaspoon salt one teaspoon paprika one third cup whipped cream six ripe olives one large bunch watercress wash oranges and cut in half scoop out pulp keep as whole as possible and reserve juice cut pulp into cubes combine with orange juice chicken celery olives onion and nuts blend together mayonnaise seasoning and whipped cream combine chicken mixture and three-quarter dressing pile salad into orange shells put spoonful of remaining dressing on top of each and garnish with a ripe olive place on a bed of watercress serve with an assortment of crackers club crackers townhouse crackers and saltine crackers which have each been spread with different cheeses and toasted to toast place on cookie sheet and bake seven minutes at three hundred fifty degrees spiced cranberry hearts yield eight servings one and one half cups hot water three quarter cup sugar four cloves one stick cinnamon three lemon slices one eight teaspoon salt one half pound cranberries two tablespoons plain gelatin one half cup cold water heat water sugar spices lemon slices and salt until sugar dissolves boil five minutes add cranberries and cook until they boil up three minutes remove lemon slices and cinnamon stick let gelatin stand in cold water five minutes add to hot cranberries mixing well let cool pour into greased heart-shaped individual molds unmold on lettuce leaf and top with thin mayonnaise serve with hot toasted club crackers piled high with chicken salad to toast crackers place on a cookie sheet and bake seven minutes at 350 degrees fruit platter yield six servings six pineapple sticks six pear halves six peach halves sliced 18 slices of oranges 18 grapefruit sections 12 plum halves four bananas one cup melon balls one pint strawberries six lettuce leaves six bunches parsley one bunch white grapes use as much fresh fruit as possible to peel and section oranges and grapefruit easily cover with boiling water 
let stand ten minutes peel section and refrigerate to prepare bananas peel cut in three equal pieces crosswise dip in mayonnaise roll in pink coconut prepare and chill melon balls place lettuce leaves on chop plate arrange fruit around outer edge of platter beginning with pineapple sticks on one side place sliced peaches on other melon balls next coconut bananas then pear halves tint with food coloring using pastry brush next arrange plum halves skin side up and dipped in powdered sugar then orange slices overlapping in artistic rows next grapefruit sections finally a mound of strawberries with stems now circle is complete in center place bowl filled with fruit salad dressing see below garnish with tiny bunches of sugar-coated grapes and sprigs of parsley serve with townhouse crackers spread with blue cheese and broiled five minutes at three hundred fifty degrees a luncheon party dish with eye and appetite appeal fruit salad dressing yield one and one half cups one cup sour cream one quarter cup honey one quarter teaspoon salt three tablespoons orange juice one tablespoon lemon juice two teaspoons grated orange peel blend all ingredients together and refrigerate several hours before serving standing improves flavor delicious for wide variety of fruit salads end of section five section six of cookie and cracker cookin this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org read by betty b cookie and cracker cookin by jeanette hindman elliot and alfred feston pies a plenty aladdin's apple pie yield nine inch pie one unbaked pie shell and top pastry, 24 townhouse crackers, 2 cups water, 1 and 1 half cups sugar, 2 tablespoons lemon juice, 1 teaspoon grated lemon rind, 2 teaspoons cream of tartar, 1 and 1 half teaspoons nutmeg, 1 teaspoon cinnamon, 2 tablespoons butter. Combine sugar, water, and cream of tartar. Bring to a boil. Add whole crackers, lemon juice, and rind. Cook slowly for 10 minutes. Do not stir. Pour into unbaked 9-inch pie shell. Sprinkle with a nutmeg and cinnamon and dot with butter. Cut into bits. Cut design in unbaked top crust to allow steam to escape. Place over filling, flute edges sealing together. Bake 40 minutes in a 400-degree Fahrenheit preheated oven. Be sure crust is golden brown. Cool and serve. This is a make-believe apple pie and requires no apples to prepare it but like a regular apple pie it is delicious with a wedge of cheese or ice cream never fail pie crust yield three nine inch crusts three cups sifted flour one and one half teaspoon salt one half cup milk one cup shortening sift together flour and salt scald milk and add shortening whipping until creamy work in dry ingredients chill in refrigerator before rolling out on floured board keeps well for days so may be made up in advance pie and cookie dough rolled on wax paper is easily and safely transferred from table to pan black bottom mint pie yield nine inch pie one nine inch coconut chocolate crust one cup milk six ounces semi-sweet chocolate one egg separated one tablespoon cornstarch one package vanilla pudding one cup heavy cream two tablespoons sugar green food coloring oil of mint flavoring one quarter cup coconut chocolate drop cookie crumbs put milk and chocolate in top of double boiler and heat until chocolate is melted combine egg yolk and cornstarch gradually add to hot milk and chocolate stirring vigorously continue to cook until thickened about 20 minutes remove from heat and let cool cook vanilla pudding according to directions on the package set aside to cool spread chocolate mixture over bottom of the coconut chocolate crust when pudding is cool fold in beaten egg white and pour over chocolate mixture whipped cream until stiff add five drops oil of mint flavoring and enough coloring to turn cream into a pleasing shade of green gradually fold in sugar 
pile high on the pie and sprinkle top with coconut chocolate drop cookie crumbs refrigerate two to four hours before serving coconut chocolate crust yield nine inch pie crust two cups coconut chocolate drop cookie crumbs five tablespoons butter or margarine prepare two cups fine crumbs from coconut chocolate drop cookies have butter or margarine room temperature and using a fork mix with cookie crumbs until crumbly use back of spoon to press this mixture firmly to the sides and bottom of a nine inch pie plate be sure to make a shallow rim at top of crust bake five minutes at three hundred seventy five degrees fahrenheit cool before filling cookie and cracker crusts in this chapter are ideal for cream fillings try lemon meringue in ginger walnut crust and chocolate chiffon in coconut chocolate pecan pie yield nine inch pie one nine inch caramel cracker crust one half cup brown sugar one half cup cornstarch one quarter teaspoon salt three tablespoons butter two eggs one and one half cups dark corn syrup two-thirds cup water one cup pecans one cup whipping cream blend sugar cornstarch salt butter eggs and syrup add water cook stirring constantly until thick Beat while cooking five minutes longer. Add nuts. Let boil up once. Cool. Pour into caramel cracker crust. Refrigerate four to six hours. Decorate with whipped cream and pecan halves. Caramel cracker crust. Yield nine inch pie crust. One and one half cup saltine cracker crumbs. One half cup dark brown sugar. One half cup ground pecans. One half cup butter or margarine. Combine saltine cracker crumbs, sugar, and nuts add soft butter use fork blend until crumbly press against sides and bottom of nine inch pie plate make shallow rim at top of crust bake five minutes at 375 degrees fahrenheit raspberry parfait pie yield nine inch pie one nine inch graham cracker crust one package frozen red or black raspberries one and one quarter cups liquid one pint vanilla ice cream one half pint one cup whipping cream one package red or black raspberry gelatin let berries thaw drain juice into measuring cup add water to make one and one quarter cups heat to boiling pour over gelatin stir until dissolved add ice cream whip until melted chill until thick not set about 20 minutes then fold in berries reserving some for garnish pour into graham cracker crust refrigerate until firm decorate with whipped cream and berries return to refrigerator graham cracker crust yield nine inch pie crust one and three quarter cups graham cracker crumbs one quarter cup granulated sugar five tablespoons margarine or butter combine graham cracker crumbs and sugar using fork work in soft butter blend until crumbly press firmly to sides and bottom of nine inch pie plate Make shallow rim at top of crust. Bake seven minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Pumpkin chiffon pie. Yield nine inch pie. One nine inch ginger walnut crust. Three quarter cup cooked pumpkin. Two eggs separated. One third cup sugar. One third cup milk. One quarter teaspoon nutmeg. One quarter teaspoon ginger. One quarter teaspoon cinnamon. One quarter teaspoon salt. One quarter cup sugar one and one half tablespoons gelatin five tablespoons cool water one cup cream whipped combine pumpkin egg yolks one third cup sugar milk and spices cook until thick stirring constantly set aside to cool soften gelatin in cool water add to pumpkin custard beat egg whites and salt until very stiff add remaining sugar gradually whipping gently pour pumpkin custard into stiffly beaten egg whites folding thoroughly but gently then pour into ginger walnut crust refrigerate three to six hours top with whipped cream and return to refrigerator until ready to serve ginger walnut crust yield nine inch pie crust one third cup ground black walnuts one tablespoon grated lemon rind one and one third cups ginger snap crumbs one quarter cup granulated sugar five tablespoons soft butter or margarine Prepare one and one third cups very fine crumbs from ginger snap cookies. Add ground nuts, lemon rind, and sugar 
mixing well together. Using a fork, work in softened margarine or butter until mixture is crumbly. With back of spoon, press this firmly to sides and bottom of nine inch pie plate. Be sure to make a shallow rim at top of crust. Bake five minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool before filling. For fluffier meringues, have egg whites at room temperature before whipping them. To prevent loss of volume, add sugar a little at a time, whipping slowly with each addition. Avoid meringue pulling to center by being sure it touches crust all around. This gives egg whites something to hold on to while browning. End of section 6「Section Seven of Cookie and Cracker Cookin'. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Cookie and Cracker Cookin' by Jeanette Heinemann Elliott and Alfred Feston. Gourmet Cakes. Refrigerator Cheesecake. Yield 9 inch cake. One recipe cinnamon crisp crust. 2 tablespoons plain gelatin, 1 half cup cold water, 2 eggs separated, 1 teaspoon salt, 1 half cup sugar, 1 half cup milk, 24 ounces cottage cheese, 1 teaspoon grated lemon rind, 2 tablespoons lemon juice, 1 teaspoon vanilla. Soak gelatin in water. Blend beaten egg yolk, salt, sugar, and milk. Cook until thick. Add gelatin, mix well, and cool. Drain cottage cheese, then press through sieve and add lemon juice, rind, and vanilla. Fold cheese and stiffly beaten egg whites unto gelatin mixture. Pour into cinnamon crisp crust. Sprinkle three-quarter cup cinnamon crisp crumbs over top. Refrigerate four to six hours. Cinnamon crisp crust. Yield nine-inch spring form mold. Three cups cinnamon crisp crumbs. One-half cup sugar. Three-quarter cup butter or margarine. Combine cinnamon crisp crumbs and sugar. Using fork, blend in butter. Reserve three-quarter cup for top of cake. Press remainder on bottom, sides, and a round cone of spring form mold. Can be used for baked or unbaked cheesecake or pie crusts. Graham cracker cake. Yield nine-inch square. Two cups graham cracker crumbs. Two tablespoons flour. Two teaspoons baking powder. One-half cup butter or margarine. 1 cup sugar, 3 eggs separated, 1 cup chopped nuts, 1 cup milk. Using rolling pin, crush graham crackers between two sheets of wax paper. Roll until very fine, then run through sieve. Sift together cracker crumbs, flour, and baking powder. Cream butter or margarine and sugar. Add egg yolks one at a time, mixing well, then add chopped nuts, English walnuts or black walnuts. To cream, sugar, and egg mixture, add sifted dry ingredients alternately with milk. Blend well, then fold in egg whites, stiffly beaten. Pour into 9-inch square cake pan and bake 40 minutes at 350 degrees. For best results in high-altitude areas, subtract 3 tablespoons of sugar from the amount given in this recipe. Serve graham cracker cake hot or cold with pine cot topping. Pine cot topping yield eight servings one cup mashed apricots one cup crushed pineapple one cup sugar one eighth teaspoon salt one quarter cup water one cup whipping cream combine apricots pineapple sugar salt and water cook slowly stirring frequently until thickened like preserves set aside to partially cool whip cream until it stands in peaks and just before serving fold it into cooled fruit sauce Serve generous amount on squares of graham cracker cake. For flat, evenly raised layers of cake, do not grease sides of pan. Neither should the center cones of round cake pans be greased. For cupcakes, when peaks are desired, sides should be well greased. Ginger spice cake. Yield 9 inch square. 1 half cup shortening, 1 half cup sugar, 2 eggs, 1 and 1 half cup sifted flour, 1 teaspoon baking powder, 1 half teaspoon salt, 1 teaspoon cinnamon, 1 teaspoon nutmeg, 1 cup ginger snap crumbs, 1 cup applesauce, canned, sweetened, 1 half cup New Orleans molasses, 1 half cup raisins or nuts. 
Cream together shortening and sugar, add eggs one at a time and blend well. Sift flour, baking powder, salt, and spices. Prepare one cup fine crumbs from ginger snap cookies. Add to sifted dry ingredients. Combine molasses and applesauce and add to sugar and egg mixture. Gradually fold in dry ingredients, stirring until well blended. Add broken nut meats or raisins. Pour into a well-greased 9-inch square cake pan and bake for 55 minutes at 350 degrees. For best results in high-altitude areas, subtract 1 and one half tablespoons from the amount of sugar and from the amount of molasses given in this recipe. Serve ginger spice cake either hot or cold with apple frosty. Apple frosty. Yield six servings. One tart apple, one cup white sugar, one egg white, one half lemon juice, one quarter teaspoon vanilla. Grate apple fine. Place in large mixing bowl and add remaining ingredients. Beat at high speed until light and fluffy. Will not hold up more than three or four hours, so make just before the meal at which it is to be served. Serve generous amount on squares of ginger spice cake. For delicious jam cake, try above recipe, substitute jam for applesauce. Be sure, however, to omit molasses and add six tablespoons of lemon juice. Follow recipe for mixing and baking directions. Chocolate Christmas Cake. Unbaked, yield two and a half pounds. Three and one half cups vanilla wafer crumbs. One cup powdered sugar. One eighth cup cocoa. One eighth teaspoon salt. One half cup white corn syrup. One third cup sherry or fruit juice. One quarter cup raisins. One quarter cup dates. One quarter cup figs. One quarter cup dried apricots. One half cup chopped nuts. One cup mixed candied fruits. Combine vanilla wafer crumbs, sugar, cocoa, salt, syrup, and juice. Cut dates, figs, and apricots into bits. Rinse in boiling water. Drain. Add raisins, nuts, and candied fruits. Cut into bits. Combine fruits and nuts with crumb mixture. Pack in well-greased one-quart ring mold. Cover with foil. Refrigerate at least 24 hours. Remove from mold. Frost with decorator's icing tinted green and mint flavored. Decorate with candied cherries and pecan halves. Fill center with sprigs of berry-laden holly. Decorator's icing. Yield about one cup. One egg white, dash of salt, one cup confectioner's sugar, flavoring and coloring. Beat egg white and salt. Beat, add sugar little at a time. Whip until smooth and thin enough to pour. Color and flavor to taste. End of section 7. Section 8 of Cookie and Cracker Cooking. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Michelle Eaton. Cookie and Cracker Cooking by Jeanette Hindman Elliott and Alfred Feston. Delicious Desserts. Cinnamon Crisp Apple Pudding. Yield 8 servings. Four apples, half a cup of water, one tablespoon of vinegar, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, one and a half cups cinnamon crisp crumbs, four tablespoons of butter, half a cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of chopped pecans. Peel, core and slice apples. Arrange in bottom of an eight inch square cake tin. Add vinegar to water and pour over apples. Sprinkle with nutmeg. Crush cinnamon crisp by rolling between pieces of waxed paper or running through food chopper. Blend butter and sugar into crumbs. Add chopped pecans. Mixing well, spread evenly over apples. Bake 45 minutes at 350 degree Fahrenheit. Serve hot or cold with cream or whipped cream. Dutch apple marlow. Yield six servings. 16 marshmallows. One cup apple sauce. A third cup of water. A third teaspoon nutmeg. One teaspoon grated lemon rind. One cup whipped cream. 
two thirds cup of cinnamon crisp crumbs. In top of double boiler, heat marshmallows, apple sauce, and water. Stir frequently and cook until smooth. Add nutmeg and lemon rind. Chill until slightly thickened. Whip cream and fold into chilled apple sauce mixture. Line a one quart refrigerator tray with a third cup of cinnamon crisp crumbs. Pour in cream and apple sauce filling. Sprinkle top with remaining third cup of cinnamon crisp crumbs. Freeze until firm. Cut in squares to serve or pile by spoonfuls in sherbet glasses. Meringue Magic Yield six servings. One cup saltine cracker crumbs. One cup of sugar. One teaspoon baking powder. One teaspoon vinegar. One teaspoon vanilla. Half a cup of pecans. Three egg whites. Roll saltine crackers until crumbs are very fine. Add sugar, baking powder, vinegar, vanilla and nuts. Beat egg whites until stiff. Fold into crumb mixture. Spread in a 9-inch square pan. Bake 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool. Cut in squares and top with a scoop of chocolate ice cream and cover with pineapple mint sauce. Pineapple mint sauce. Yield 1.5 cups. 3 quarters of a cup of sugar. quarter of a cup of cornstarch. 1 cup crushed pineapple. One and a half cups pineapple juice, green colouring, oil of mint. Combine sugar and cornstarch, stir into crushed pineapple, add juice blending well, cook until thickened, stirring to assure smoothness, add colouring and flavouring to taste. Serve over ice cream filled meringue magic, delicious on chocolate or vanilla ice cream pineapple or lemon sherbet, and chocolate cake or pudding. Other fillings for meringue crust include ice cream with fresh berries or sliced peaches, fruit salad whipped cream spread over meringue magic, and frozen is a party dessert. Hot fudge and butterscotch are good over ice cream filled meringue squares. Banana coconut custard yield six servings quarter of a cup of sugar, half a tablespoon of cornstarch, third of a teaspoon of salt, two eggs separated, one cup of milk scalded, 48 vanilla wafers, six ounces, one banana sliced, two thirds of a cup of shredded coconut. Mix together sugar, cornstarch, salt and beaten egg yolks. Slowly add scalded milk, blending well. Cook in double boiler until custard thickens. Line sides and bottom of oblong one and a half quart glass baking dish with vanilla wafers. Pour a third of the custard over wafers. Slice half banana over and sprinkle a third cup of coconut on top. Repeat, then pour remaining third of custard over top using egg whites Two tablespoons sugar and vanilla make a meringue. Pile this meringue in peaks on custard, being sure every inch is covered. Bake for 20 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Delicious hot or cold. Vanilla wafers are so versatile because their delicate flavour blends so well with others. Chocolate, vanilla, lemon or butterscotch pudding can be turned into a special dessert by using alternate layers of vanilla wafers and pudding with a topping of whipped cream, sprinkled with ground nuts and garnished with maraschino cherries. Chocolate Marshmallow Pudding Yield 12 servings 1 quarter cups of graham cracker crumbs 1 tablespoon of flour quarter of a cup of sugar quarter of a cup of cocoa half a cup of butter or margarine 24 marshmallows 1 6 ounce package chocolate bits 3rd of a teaspoon of salt 
one cup of milk, one cup of whipping cream. Prepare graham cracker crumbs by rolling between sheets of wax paper, putting through a food chopper, a foley mill, or crumbling in an electric blender. Add flour, sugar and cocoa to the prepared crumbs and mix well. Using fork, blend in butter. Press with back of spoon into bottom of 9 inch by 13 inch by 2 inch glass baking dish. Cut marshmallows in bits. Melt with chocolate bits in milk. Add salt. Beat smooth and set aside to cool. Whip stiff. Fold into cooled marshmallow mixture and spread over crumbs. Place in refrigerator for several hours. Cut in squares. Pecan puffs. Yield about three dozen. Half a cup pecan sandy crumbs. Two egg whites. One tablespoon of lemon juice. Third of a teaspoon of salt. One cup of sugar. One teaspoon of vanilla. Prepare crumbs from pecan sandies. Beat egg whites with salt and lemon juice until soft peaks form. Slowly beat in sugar vanilla and fine pecan sandy crumbs. Drop by teaspoonfuls on greased baking sheets. Bake for 35 minutes in 275 degree Fahrenheit, preheated oven. Pecan sandies are rich and delicious. The perfect companion for tea or coffee. Gives an afternoon snack a party touch. Try frosting them with tinted 7 minute icing for your next club tea. End of section 8section 9 of cookie and cracker cooking this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org read by michelle eaton cookie and cracker cooking by jeanette hindman elliot and alfred feston fun foods spice cookies yield 2 dozen 2 inch squares two-thirds of a cup of cinnamon crisp crumbs, one and a half cups of brown sugar firmly packed, half a cup of butter melted, one cup of sifted flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, two eggs, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Prepare fine crumbs from cinnamon crisp. Heat sugar and butter, stirring constantly. When sugar is completely dissolved and syrup bubbles up, set aside to cool. Sift dry ingredients and combine with cinnamon crisp crumbs. Beat eggs and add with the vanilla to sugar syrup. Blend crumb mixture and syrup together. Pour into a greased 9 inch by 13 inch by 2 inch glass baking dish. Bake for 30 minutes at 350 degree Fahrenheit or until a toothpick or cake tester comes out clean. Cut in 2 inch squares while still warm. Unbaked fudges. Yield 50 cookies. 2 cups of granulated sugar. 2 squares of bitter chocolate. 1 cup of milk. 2 tablespoons of butter. 24 marshmallows. A half a cup of walnut halves, three cups graham cracker crumbs. Combine sugar, chocolate, milk and butter. Bring to boil, stirring constantly. When sugar is dissolved, continue cooking slowly for five minutes. Cool to lukewarm. Prepare crumbs from graham crackers. Cut marshmallows in bits. Combine with nuts and add to crumbs. Pour warm syrup over all and blend well together. Drop by teaspoonfuls on waxed paper. Top each with walnut half and set aside for at least two hours before serving. Do not refrigerate. Top graham crackers with a square of plain chocolate candy and a marshmallow. Broil five minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for a treat that's sure to make the small fry 
squeal for more. The art of entertaining. The art of entertaining is simple to achieve. Planning is the secret. Never select a menu too difficult to master. Read recipes and have every ingredient on hand before starting to cook. Allow ample time for food preparation. Also to dress without rushing. Serve juices or cocktails with spreads and plenty of crackers in the living room to keep guests happy and you well poised while adding final touches to the meal. These simple rules help you master the art of entertaining. Keep a stock of canned and frozen foods and a wide selection of cookies and crackers. Then happening guests are always welcome. Include these cookies and crackers on your next shopping list. Butter cookies, pecan sandies, chocolate fudge sandwich, Jan Hegel, townhouse crackers, club crackers, saltines, graham crackers, coconut chocolate drop cookies, ginger snaps, vanilla wafers, cinnamon crisp. Bowman Biscuit Company, Denver. End of section 9. End of Cookie and Cracker Cooking by Jeanette Hindman Elliott and Alfred Feston.